The horizontal graticules on this device measure the frequency in hertz, kilohertz, or megahertz per division. The vertical graticules measure the signal strength in terms of decibels relative to a milliwatt. This device has a built-in marker indicated by the bright moving dot. This allows you to tune to a particular frequency as indicated by the lower center changing number and find its signal strength in terms of decibels relative to a milliwatt. We see now that the signal received on 102.9 megahertz is coming in at a signal of 80, negative 81.2 decibels relative to a milliwatt. Using this machine, we can determine the performance of our transmitter. Here we see the output of our transmitter in the frequency domain. It is located at about 102.1 megahertz. You notice the bandwidth is very small, less than maybe 10 or 20 kilohertz. That's because we're not modulating our transmitter with any sort of tone or any sort of modulation. The bandwidth of an unmodulated carrier is very low. We will now show what happens when our carrier signal is modulated. We'll first modulate it with a two kilohertz audio tone. You can see the bandwidth of an FM signal is proportional to both the frequency of the modulating signal and the amplitude of the modulating signal. We will see that when an FM signal is modulated, sidebands equal to multiples of the frequency of the modulating frequency are produced. We will modulate our carrier with a 2 kilohertz sine wave. Here, the sidebands are not easily seen and are not clearly defined. But if we raise the frequency, the modulating frequency, up to 15 kilohertz, the sidebands are more clearly defined. If we take the marker and look at the individual sidebands, we see that their peaks are 15 kilohertz apart. This particular sideband falls at 102.108 megahertz. The next one is at 102.123 megahertz. 15 kilohertz apart, and they're evenly spaced, decreasing in amplitude according to the Bessel function. We have seen that we can modulate our FM carrier wave with frequencies that extend beyond the range of human hearing. We can take make this to our advantage and create something called subcarriers. As we increase the frequency through the audible range to the ultra audible range, we see the subcarriers, sidebands start to create, and we can increase the frequency all the way up past 50 to 76 kilohertz. See that our carrier signal is being modulated by a 76 kilohertz carrier, subcarrier wave approximately that the function generator is operating at approximately 76 kilohertz. And that is how an FM subcarrier is generated. F FM subcarriers are used by commercial broadcast stations to transmit stereophonic sound. One component of this subcarrier scheme is a 19 kilohertz pilot tone that's transmitted along as a subcarrier with their signal. This tone activates the FM stereo indicator light found on most commercial receivers. Here we see as we apply a 19 kilohertz tone to our transmitter,
When we reach 19 kilohertz, the FM stereo indicator light comes on, indicating that our signal is being received by the receiver.